Today I'm going to show you some of the magical qualities that house paint as a base coat creates. Uh, if you look at the white in this painting, it is simply the white house paint base coat as it comes up from under the colors when I run a palette knife through it and break up the surface colors. The white comes up from underneath and sort of becomes fluffy and plume-like. It's a very pretty effect. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I did it. Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I wanted to show you this really pretty 16-inch round canvas that I did. And I'm playing with a number of different things here to get the effects that I managed to create on this canvas. So I've started using my white house paint base coat. I flooded the canvas. I mixed my paint with Floetrol and a bit of water. And I use a latex or acrylic paint, semi-gloss uh, from Dulux Paints. I live in Canada, but I believe any acrylic white paint will work. The mix is about one part paint to three parts Floetrol and maybe one part water because it is a fairly thick paint. I want uh, to coat the canvas nicely. I'm now laying my ribbons of paint. I use the Modern Masters, uh, it's a rich royal blue metallic. I used Modern Masters Gold and I used Artmind's DIY Splash, which is just a really pretty turquoise metallic. I'm going to be adding in some uh, green apple, candy apple green metallic by Modern Masters. And a little more of the silver. I'm also going to add black for contrast. I tilt the canvas to stretch the paint. I torch for bubbles because there's always little tiny bubbles that are in the paint. And now I'm adding the black is my Amsterdam formula. And I thought of putting it into the sort of the swipe schmear position. And I use my offset spatula and I realized this isn't the effect that I'm going for and that's okay. So I'm going to add some more colors of paint and I'm going to continue on. When I added the paint this time, I used just a normal black paint, uh, not the Amsterdam formula. And I decided I've not tried pushing paint around from ribbons that I've laid on the canvas. 
And the really special thing is, look at what happens as I scrape down to the base coat. You see that white coming up through? That is the house paint. And it gives the most beautiful ghost-like or plume-like patterns when it comes up from under the other paints. I'm also going to do some swiping in selective areas. I really love the patterns that pushing the paint around created, especially with the white plumes from the house paint. So I'm just going to add a few swipes with a damp paper towel here and there. Then I'm going to use my offset spatula, do a few more, and I am just drawing some paint through other areas and working on composition. I find this part of the painting process so relaxing. Uh, just drawing lines through the paint, allowing the patterns to appear. They just, it's almost meditative and peaceful while I'm doing it. Now I've turned the canvas around and I'm going to concentrate on what is the sky in this picture. So I add some more of my silver in ribbons and then I'm going to tilt it and stretch it. And again, the reaction of the paint on the house paint created some really pretty puffy clouds. Um, and you'll see when you see the dry bits at the end, how pretty those clouds turned out to be. It really is effective. House paint has some magical uh, powers in a pour. I took a little time to look at the video recording on my phone to see how I like the total composition. And I've decided that there's a lot of white in the lower half of the painting. And I want to add some color and some pattern to that. You know me, I like a lot of contrast in a painting. 
So I'm going to add little bits of paint here and there and use the Amsterdam formula to smear over them. And that's going to give some more cells and lacing. It's going to break up the large areas of white. I'm not going to get rid of them completely. I just feel that for balance, there's a few spots that need a little bit more attention. So I was able to break up the large areas of white without losing the effect of the white plumes that run through these colors. I think what I was trying to do was to achieve a little more balance. I wanted it to be weighted at the bottom. I wanted more darkness uh, and then light as it goes up towards the sky. And here I have the dried results. It dried beautifully, and I love the way the White House paint plays against the silver in the sky. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. You'll see the reflective silver contrasted against what is a flat uh, white. It created these beautiful cumulus clouds. Uh, the patterning through the piece is really pretty. Uh, very limited palette of color, but you don't need much. And I love the cells and the lacing that using the Amsterdam formula brought. If you can see how pretty those clouds are, and that is partly due to the house paint, the effect that it has. 
You can see that is also in the lower part of the painting. These white plumes are very soft and billowy. Anyway, I'm glad you came along. I hope I inspired you to try something a little different. Uh, it makes me happy to paint. I think I'm gonna go downstairs and paint right now. And uh, as I always say, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. I think it's important to have a creative outlet. And I'm glad that you've come along this journey with me. I really do appreciate it. I just hit a million views, which is, is pretty amazing. Uh, and again, thank you for your kind comments and your likes and just for being there. Again, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.